What's up y'all, Coach Bradley coming to you from the great state of Idaho. And today we're gonna to chat a little bit about the rope bat hitting system. Let's get it. So as a guy that's been coaching baseball for a lot of years, from high school, middle school, all the way down to seven to nine year olds, as you can imagine, I've picked up a lot of different baseball training aids over the year. Now the rope bat hitting system is kind of newer to our program, picked it up a couple months ago. I've introduced it for my high schoolers this season, but I think this is gonna be something that will be applicable all the way down to the seven to nine year olds as well. So today we're gonna go ahead and dive into this bad boy, show you how to use it, and see if it might be a good option for you too. So first off, let's go ahead and take a little closer look at everything you're gonna get when you pick this package up. Of course, we're gonna have our rope bat trainer right here. And then you're gonna get a chance to either pick up 12 of the rope bat training balls. They also have some different options with less balls as well. And you're gonna get this nice little rope bat carrying bag to keep the trainer and the balls in too. Now, another thing I really like is when you open the box to this, you'll see they have some quick start instructions and they even offer a complete hitting course on their website and they give you a link to that right there as well. So next up, let's go ahead and take a little closer look at exactly how this thing is constructed and what it's made of. Now we'll start here right at the top and you're gonna have what would be known as your barrel or sweet spot on the bat. And this is basically like a foam with a hard rubber outside that's fairly thick as well. Obviously from here, we've got some pretty heavy duty rope and then we get down to this handle area and that's gonna be that kind of thicker rubber material that was on the barrel too. Now, one thing I wanna point out on here is when you hold this up, you'll see some different measurements there from 26 inches all the way up to a 32 at the bottom. And basically it's got this little stopper right here that you can set at different heights depending on how big your bat is. So for example, right there, we have it set at a 31 inch bat. And basically then I would wanna hold this right here and that's gonna simulate me swinging a 31 inch bat. Now, one thing I like about this is the fact that, you know, for your older guys or adults, they can practice with a 33, 34, all the way down to my daughter, who is probably gonna be swinging like a 28 and she can still use this tool too, just by adjusting that little piece right there. So just to show you how this size adjusting works, you'll see we have a 31 inch bat right there. And I've set this on the 31 where the bottom of the hands would be. And as you can see, the barrel part now is lined up nicely with where you would wanna be making connection when you hit. So next up, let's go ahead and take a little closer look at the training balls that are gonna come with this set. And these basically are real lightweight. They've got kind of this nice little outer shell to them. And basically they just kind of remind me of stress balls. You know, they got a lot of flex to them and they're not gonna damage the rope bat when you hit them with it. So besides your standard rope bat training ball, you're also welcome to train with wiffle balls. But what you don't wanna use is a hard baseball or even your softer tee ball as well. Now the best way to start training with the rope bat is going to be doing tee work, but you gotta make sure that you're using the correct tee. Now I've got two different tees here. One of them is this softer, more bendable tee, and that's actually a Tanner tee brand right there. And then we've got your standard harder topped tee here. Now, if you're gonna do tee work with the rope bat, you only wanna use a softer top tee, and you don't wanna use one of these harder ones, or you could damage the device. So now that we've covered all the do's and don'ts when using the rope bat, let's go ahead and chat a little bit about how this thing actually works. Now I swing a 33 inch bat, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this thing all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hands placed just like a regular traditional grip. Now one thing I want you to notice is that the bat actually rests right on the spine in the middle of my back, all right? Now you'll notice here my hands are placed where they regularly be, got that nice V in the arms. And when I load, I have to stay connected in order to keep that bat there. Problem happens if I go an arm bar, you're gonna see that start to disconnect. So this tool is gonna to help us stay really connected through the swing until that final push when we swing through. Let's go ahead and demo it. Besides using the rope bat for tee work, you can also do side toss or front toss as you get a little bit more advanced. And when you're all done with your training session, you can throw your rope bat as well as all the training balls right in this nice little carrying bag. And that way, hopefully you'll hold on to stuff and not lose it. 
So there you go, kids. That's pretty much everything you need to know about the rope bat hitting system. And my three takeaways as we close this video out is number one, this thing is versatile, all right? From seven to nine year olds, all the way up to high schoolers, anybody can pick this thing up and be able to identify some common swing flaws with it. The second thing that I like about it is the fact that it has a short learning curve. There's a lot of hitting aids out there that are kind of complex and sure they're great for kind of fine tuning an already decent swing, but if you want something that can just be picked up, isn't going to be complicated or frustrate your kids, the rope bat is not a bad way to go. Now the third thing I like about this is the fact that they give you great instructional videos that are going to show you all the drills you need to do this and show you how to get that instant feedback. So you don't need to be a baseball coach to get the most out of this product. Now the only downside to this thing is for what you're actually getting, it is a little spendy, but you know, if I can fix even one or two little small hitting flaws in a younger kid or a high school kid, it's going to be worth it to me. It's for those reasons and more, I'm going to give this thing a Coach Bradley thumbs up and I say, go out and get you one.